Hello, my name is Briar. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I am documenting my journey as a passionate writer of fantasy novels to one day a published passionate writer of fantasy novels. Today I want to tap into something that's been on my mind a lot lately and that is balancing the work from home life with my writing life. <laughs> One thing that's important to know about me is I work from home. I love to work from home. I don't like to go out and work because people are disgusting and thank you um, the panorama for giving me more options for working from home. The job that I currently have now, I am a independent contractor with an education company and I am working with teachers and school administration and all kinds of people like that. And I'm really more focused on the communication aspect of this edtech company. And that means that my job is really very, very flexible. There will be some days where I have a to-do list a mile long and I'll be sitting at my desk and working for six, seven hours. And there are some days where I have like three things that I need to do, check, 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 and I'm done. So with that flexibility comes a lot of time. Supposedly that is time that I could be filming YouTube videos and writing and developing myself as a human being. And a lot of the time, that time is spent uh, faffing around on the internet or scrolling on Instagram or, you know, not making the best use of my time. And so I have found a couple of ways that are helping me to really focus on work when I need to work and focus on writing when I need to write and focus on whatever else needs to be done when basically everything happens at my four foot by two foot desk in the corner with my laptop and my monitor and all those things. Yeah, it's a struggle, but I found some things that help. And I want to share those things with you to see if maybe it'll help you with balancing your working and writing life. Or if you have any tips for me about how you've done it, I would love to hear it more in the comments and see more from other people about what it is that you do to focus on writing when you're writing, working when you're working, and all of the other things that need to happen in our day-to-day -day lives. Tip number one is to organize your space. If you have a bit of a differentiated space or way that you use the space for work versus for pleasure or writing activities, it's easier to get into the right mindset. So for me, that means my desk, which is where I do 90% of everything, is set up differently for work, where I have my keyboard set up differently. I keep my materials and things that I need for work in different files. And then I pull out the files that I need for work and try to focus on that. And then I have different files that I use for writing and I can easily shift everything around and make it more of my writing space versus my work space. Does that make sense? It might not make sense. But what works for me isn't going to work for you. But just having that shift of setup so that it is, this is my writing setup versus this is my working setup, or these are my writing pens and notepads and things, and these are my working pens and notepads and things, and just keeping those things separate but all easily accessible. My second tip for working from home and writing from home is to be doing what you can to reduce decision fatigue. According to the American Medical Association, which has a great article about combating decision fatigue that I'm gonna link in the description, the average person makes about 35,000 decisions a day. And keep in mind that when you're writing, you're making decisions for other characters as well, you're making a lot of decisions as a writer. And when you work from home and you're writing and you're doing all the things to take care of your house and your family and what have you, that's a lot of choices to be making. So going into your day with a plan to reduce the load of decisions or 
prioritize what decisions you have to make is going to make it easier to get writing done if you allow yourself to fall into decision fatigue, then you might find yourself being procrastinating. You make impulsive decisions instead of well thought decisions. You start to avoid making any further decisions and just decide to take a nap. Or you find yourself lingering in indecision and unable to move forward because there's so much to do and you don't know what to do. So accounting for decision fatigue and planning your day is very helpful to me because I will make my list of things that I want to get done or reduce the amount of choices that I have to make by setting out my clothes the night before, planning my meals for the week, picking out just a couple of options for things that need to get done in what order versus having an abundance of options, which leads to procrastination and decision avoidance and general irritability about not having time or energy to do all the things by the end of the day you're exhausted and you feel like you haven't gotten anything done and decision fatigue might account for why a lot of writers say that they feel a lot more productive by writing in the morning because in the morning you haven't fallen into the fatigue you haven't made your 35,000 decisions for the day yet so you have a lot more mental energy to devote to making the decisions of your characters rather than trying to make decisions for how to live your life and work and all the things. So to eliminate the decision fatigue, you take away from your overabundance of choices and streamline what you have to choose. I do that by setting my to-do list in the morning or giving myself just a couple options for things like I can do this yoga video or this yoga video. I don't have to scroll through the World Wide Web and figure out something or I could have this snack or this snack and just making those choices early in the day and then you're not opening the fridge and staring at a hundred thousand choices of what to have for a snack you've already got it narrowed down so you're not battling so many decisions over the course of the day you just have to make a couple of key decisions to keep moving forward and like i said there's a great article from the american medical association that i'm linking down below that has even more ways to learn about decision fatigue and ways to combat it so that you're not feeling completely exhausted by the end of the day just by living your life and making the decisions we all have to make. And the third thing that's really helpful for me in living my work from home, writing from home life is I have found that having certain routines is super useful. So like I said, my work schedule is really variable. I can do kind of what I want, when I want, so long as a couple of key things are met. So what I like to do is I will have a routine for start of the workday routine. Like I sit down and I have to do this, this, and this. And then I get into whatever needs to be done for the day. And a close of the workday routine, which also includes like turning off notifications on my phone, closing out all of my work windows on my laptop, and doing all of those kinds of things. So having a routine for work and also a routine for writing. So when I'm getting into my writing mood, I have some playlists that I listen to, some videos that I specifically watch, or I'll watch author tube videos to get into the writing mindset versus the working mindset. And that really helps to create a line that divides my day from work time to not work time. Some other ways that routine has been really useful to me is setting timers so that I don't get lost and end up writing for two hours in the middle of the day when I really do need to get back to work or creating, um, I recently downloaded like a focus, help me focus kind of app on my phone that blocks me from using certain apps during the hours of the day that I've given as quote unquote work time so that I'm not tempted by my phone to be doing other things and that instead I am focused on writing, focused on working, focused on the things that need to get done versus the things that I want to do like scroll through Instagram. But the number one thing for balancing my working life and my writing life when it all happens at the same desk is to just be kind to yourself, to not pile on guilt and pressure for not meeting certain expectations. 
Like, yes, you have to meet all of your deadlines for work or you're not going to get paid. But if I have to prioritize work over writing because the work is what's giving me money right now, then that's what's going to get prioritized. Like, I'm not going to bash myself and feel unending amounts of guilt because I didn't meet my writing goal for last week because I ended up having to do other things, including work. It's just be kind to yourself, be generous to yourself, and don't let yourself stew in the guilt and second guessing all of the things that you've done because you have made progress. And remember that any little bit of progress is more than you had before. So whether that's in the frame of working or in the frame of writing or any area of your life, take a second to remember the things that you have done instead of feeling guilty for whatever hasn't gotten done yet. Like me, I'm filming this video on Monday and kind of my goal is to edit and upload it today because I wanted to have it up by Monday. So I could like bang my head on the wall and feel a ton of guilt because I had time to film this over the weekend and I just didn't. But I'm not gonna do that because other things happened in my life and I'm not gonna feel guilty for failing at something I wanted to do because I'm doing it maybe a little later than I thought, but it'll get done. So just be generous, be kind to yourself. And if you wouldn't guilt someone else over not doing something, don't guilt yourself over it either. So those are some of the tips and tools that I use to get writing and work done when I'm doing it all from the same desk. What are some tools that you use to differentiate your writing and your working life? Do you work from home? Are you also writing? Do you go out to do your writing somewhere else or you're working somewhere else, even if you have a remote job? These are all questions that I'm curious about and I would love to hear your lived experiences because I only have my own to go off of and you know, my experiences are limited. What do you think about decision fatigue? Is that something that you struggle with? And what are some ways that you're combating that? Because I feel like that's like the biggest thing for me is I do so much in the morning by the afternoon, I'm brain dead and I can't do any writing if I haven't already done it, which is why I haven't done any writing for a couple days. Camp Nano is working. We're working on it. It's fine. I'll catch up. I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.